Hello, dear seekers of wisdom and truth. Have you ever questioned the very foundations of our moral frameworks? Today, we are poised at the edge of a great philosophical chasm, one that calls into question the sanctity of ethics in the realm of bioethics. Can it be, as the iconoclastic Ruth Macklin argued, that bioethics is not a distinct discipline, but rather a myth, a collection of problems with no unique methodological approaches? Imagine a tapestry, each thread woven with the greatest of care, representing the moral guidelines that govern the fabric of our society. Now, envision that same tapestry at the brink of unraveling. This is the philosophical landscape we navigate as we ponder if bioethics is merely an extension of general ethics or a field that stands alone. What then is this central question that stirs the soul? It is none other than this. Is bioethics truly a myth, devoid of its own ethical principles, or is it a distinct discipline with unique values and methodologies? This question beckons us to explore the nature of moral reasoning in the context of biomedical advancements. Diving into the heart of the theme, we must first understand what bioethics encompasses. It traverses the complex intersections of medicine, law, philosophy, and sociology, addressing life and death dilemmas and the moral implications of cutting edge medical technologies. It is in these treacherous waters that we ask, do the ethical principles applied here differ from those in our daily lives, or are they merely repurposed and applied to a more specialized domain? To build this understanding, consider the everyday choices we make, such as telling the truth or protecting someone's feelings. Now, elevate these decisions to the life-altering level. Should a doctor disclose a terminal diagnosis to a patient who may lose all hope? The gravity changes, but does the ethical foundation. This is where we mine the depths of bioethics, seeking its unique core, if it exists. Ruth Macklin, a fierce critic, argued that bioethical dilemmas do not require special principles. They can be resolved using the same ethical theories and principles that apply to ethical dilemmas in general. Her assertion challenges us to scrutinize the belief that bioethics has its own set of principles. However, does the uniqueness of the bioethical context, the life sciences, patient care, and the very essence of life and death not demand a tailored ethical approach. History has witnessed the ebb and flow of ethical paradigms with each major medical breakthrough, from the first heart transplantation to the ethical labyrinth of genetic engineering. During the infamous Tuskegee syphilis study, the ethical oversight was profound, underscoring the need for a more stringent bioethical framework. This historical case study demonstrates how ethical paradigms evolve Yet one might argue that this evolution is not unique to bioethics, but rather an adaptation of broader ethical practices. The ethical implications and moral considerations of bioethics are further complicated by the diversity of human values and cultural norms. Take for example the contentious issue of euthanasia. In some cultures, it is seen as an act of compassion, a release from suffering. In others, it is taboo, an affront to the sanctity of life. Such dilemmas highlight the need for a sensitive and specialized ethical framework, one that can navigate the murky waters of cultural relativism and universal human rights. Cultural reflections in literature, such as in the poignant narrative of Kazuo Ishiguro's Never Let Me Go, delve into the human experience at the intersection of medical ethics and personal identity. The story unveils the lives of clones created for organ donation, raising profound questions about the value of human life and the ethics of cloning. Here, bioethics is not just an abstract concept, but a tangible force that shapes the character's destinies. Today, contemporary discussions and debates on bioethics rage on, with topics like CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing presenting scenarios that were once relegated to science fiction. On one side, there's the promise of eradicating genetic diseases, on the other, the fear of opening Pandora's box to a world of designer babies and biological inequality. These discussions underscore the pressing need for a robust and distinct set of bioethical principles to guide us. In our modern context, 
the importance of bioethics cannot be overstated. We live in an era of unprecedented medical advancements that offer incredible potential, but also pose daunting ethical challenges. As we march towards the future, the implications of our ethical choices in bioethics will shape the trajectory of humanity, perhaps more so than in any other domain. In synthesizing this exploration, we arrive at a stirring conclusion. Whether or not bioethics is a distinct discipline, the unique challenges it presents are undeniable. The intersection of ethical theory and life-altering medical decisions creates a crucible in which our moral convictions are tested in ways unlike any other. Thank you, each and every one of you, for embarking on this philosophical journey with me. Our shared quest for understanding is what makes this exploration so enriching. As we part ways, I leave you with questions to ponder. How do you perceive the role of bioethics in the broader context of ethics? Can we truly navigate the complexities of medical advancements without a specialized ethical compass? I encourage you to carry this dialogue forward, to question, to challenge, and to explore the profound depths of bioethics. May your intellectual curiosity continue to flourish, and may your journey through the ever-evolving landscape of ethics be a beacon of insight and wisdom. Until we meet again, may your philosophical endeavors be as rewarding as they are enlightening.